Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome, you're watching Miami TV. We have a special show for you tonight. We're here with Florida and AD uh, with a new fetish event happening here in Tulum, but apparently it's happening also all around the world. I want to know all about Utopia. What's up, guys? Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello, everyone. <laughs> You look amazing, by the way. Thanks for dressing Thank up. You. But Thank you. this isn't even a dress up for you. This is how you normally are every day at all times, I'm sure. Well, we like to wear it with the sensual way. Sexy. Because this is sexy, you know. It's, this is what we invite the people to live the experience to fetish. Yeah, at, at daytime and at nighttime, it's kind of different. It's a bit yin yang. But at nighttime, like when, when the sun goes down, we, you know, this is how we come out. And now I think the fetish fashion way is, uh, you know, very strong Cash in the world. On. Uh -huh. no? How long have you guys been together? Five Ooh. years. Five years, okay. Yeah. And we're five, six. Five, six, okay. <laughs> the woman usually gets it right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have Argentina and England? Yes, mm -hmm. correct. Okay, and how did you meet? Where did you meet? Well, we meet in Ibiza, actually, okay. because we, we live in there. Crazy place to meet. Six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to make it clear, it was six, six years ago. Six years ago, but we actually got together, actually here in Tulum, five okay. years ago. Yeah, okay. we okay. met uh, for casualty, mm -hmm. we went in holidays, and we met here, and they, well, there is that. So there. you both lived there, but you got together in Tulum. Yeah, it was. Very no, fun. we we no. came in separate, and we just meet each other, and after some tequilas uh, in a funny night. Was it wait, was, was that during the pandemic? <laughs> a little before. Yeah, no, before. It was, it was just before. Yeah. 2018. Okay, because a lot of people from Ibiza, for some reason, came to Tulum in the pandemic. Was yeah. it really strict there, or? Yes, it was, it was like uh, in in Spain. Um, mm -hmm. It's, it I used to be a, a communistic location, a communistic country, and obviously that went, but when things like pandemic kicks in, it's everybody in the house, you can't step up, foot outside and you get wow. fined, and it's like very, very, very heavy, you know? So uh, a lot of people decided to just up and leave and come to Tulum. You and came uh, here and it was like nothing happened. Yeah, here, right? I mean, it was, free, it was like a free zone. Yeah. Know, so, so it's great. <laughs> well, and when did you guys decide that you wanted to do these kind of events? Let's talk, of, uh, let's talk about Utopia. Okay, so um, Utopia, it started in Copenhagen in um, okay. uh, 2020. Uh, and it they really are international. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, it was, it was actually the founder, a guy called Vadim Scheinberg, which we'll probably see soon. Okay. And um, it, he started it on his birthday. So it was a big birthday party, uh, which was astronomical from what I hear. Okay. Uh, and then, um, and then maybe, he's maybe we'll let him tell yeah, that tell part that story, then, right? Yeah, totally. When did you guys get involved but in it? When you get involved in Ibiza, when we, well, we meet in Ibiza, we after meet here and we start the first one Tulum each other in Tulum, yeah, actually. Right. <laughs> the Tulum was open and everything else was kind of closed. So, uh -huh. so actually we uh, made the first party in Code Orange in, okay. in Tulum, believe it or not. So, so uh, and the guy who we made it with was, um, he's, I don't really want to mention too many names, but he's in politics and, and he could see the gaps where we could actually get the license to make this happen. Okay, so, nice. So uh, we were kind of one of the unique parties and on top of that. So you need licenses to do it. Well, well no, I mean, you need licenses to, is to do any party. It's just right. to get it signed off in uh -huh. pandemic. Was oh, was because difficult. of the pandemic, yeah. right, right, right. And yeah. what about now? It's more chill, now, right? Now, now it's more chilled. And, okay. uh, it's just more about uh, the owner of a location, if they right. understand the sexual no, And also, yeah. yes. the, 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 the proposal of the party was super interesting because actually in, in Toulon no exist this kind of uh, parties and this kind of a way to... to mm -hmm. No, they're, they're telling you stuff, but they're not telling you everything. Now, yeah. what, what is it about the party that makes it so unique? And, or, or before we start with that, when did you get involved in that kind of lifestyle, if we want to call it a lifestyle? Yeah, well, well we've been in the nightclub um, lifestyle for 20 years, making okay. festivals. Uh, she's a professional dancer and choreographer. Okay, and, I can see that, yes. And, <laughs> and, and we have like a dance agency, which okay, we nice. together. And, uh, you and experience and also experience because we know just bring performance shows we like nice. to create experience to the people and you dance together no I, I'm, a, I'm a promoter so I, i'm a okay. boss of the party you okay. know? so I, i've been doing big events like five thousand people for yeah, a long yeah, yeah. time and uh, and so when we brought it together with the utopia concept we thought we could expand it and make it a little bit more bit like larger yeah like you complement each other yeah like, like commercialize it in a sense that make um expand Mm -hmm. this for a wider market right so it's something it's not a traditional fetish party it's something which is in between a nightclub event and a fetish okay. party so it's got a much wider market kind of yeah. like miami i know yeah. so. <laughs> yes, yes of course sure. <laughs> <laughs> why, why have 
haven't you been to Miami yet? <laughs> we love well, that's it. That's the next spot. Where we're next going. one? Yeah. Next, next spot. Yeah. But we what we do is we set up a market stall. So we always start market stalls a few days before in the same location. For invite other people and to so get people in there. And so people can buy because we're very strict dress code. Okay. So the market stall starts at five. Um, the party at the same place? In the same place, okay. in the same location. The party starts at That's 10. That's so smart. Yeah, you and just so dress you up while you're there. You buy your accessories and your clothes and Interesting. stuff. Interesting. Oh, Shazi, if you arrive to the place because your friends say it's a cool party and you, you, have, dress you up. don't have anything to wear, you can arrive there and we give in to you everything to you feel mm. sexy and you have uh, the experience of good But, but we are very, very strict and we have a, a girl at the door which mm -hmm. we call door bitch. A girl at the door. <laughs> yes. Girl at the door, and she, she's sort of checking that everybody's got the right fashion, and if not, you tend to get sent back and like dress Go up. buy something. Yeah, go and buy something, <laughs> or go it's home. It's a perfect business, you know. <laughs> or go home, or something like okay. that. So, so you have Smart. to have, uh, you know, and also what it does is, is it, she's got a whip, and it kind of breaks, okay. it breaks that sort of ice. Yeah, the the door, okay, the and, boundaries. And, and then like from there, from that, after you've got past that part, you, you feel like you've achieved something already. Okay. And, and you then have to be a, be a good boy, <laughs> and good girls, and wearing the, the right style. I mean, you can be open to, to your creativity. Mm -hmm. Just we need that you feel sexy and look uh -huh. like sexy, mm -hmm. because our point is that you invite to the then other people to feel in like this. You right. Know? So it's like an ambience that just creates yeah. itself yeah. with it's everybody. So it's also like because uh, I think a lot of the girls uh, or ladies who go to parties and at these events are already dressed very sexy. Uh -huh. I think it's nice when the guys actually put a bit of effort in. It kind of balances it balances mm -hmm. it and it's not just guys looking at girls, it's actually a, a balance. So Everybody's looking you, at each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah everybody's <laughs> looking at each other and, and, and also you don't feel like you're being preyed I upon. really like that, by the way. Yeah, it's my it's leash, it's a gold oh, leash. Oh, it's a leash. Yeah, it's a gold <laughs> leash. I wasn't right? expecting that. Yeah, I yeah, love like, it. Like, like it's, it started off silver, it's going gold. So if, well, it's, if you didn't say it was a leash, it's, like, it's just known. a yeah. necklace. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, 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 um, so yeah, it's, it's like this. So we want the guys to be sexy. We want the girls to be sexy and feel sexy. And, you, and you know what I'm thinking now that if I ever buy something like that, everybody's going to think, uh, you know, I'm into fetish and you, that's the least. That's now. The least yeah. <laughs> you just made it into a category. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, but it looks cool. It looks cool. So when did it start for you guys? When did you feel like you, you wanted to pass that boundary and maybe try fetish and what kind of fetish are, fetishes are you into? Um, if, if I may ask, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I, I personal uh, in Ibiza is a lot of this group of kind of okay. parties. So there is more normal, more, you know, it's more. Uh, People are more open. Yes, yeah, more open. Okay. Europe is a little bit you more open. You that, right? <laughs> uh, but we are bringing all this to Mexico. So now it's a lot of people also <laughs> open in yes. this way. So, yes, for me, starting parties in general, because in Ibiza is full yeah. of parties, we do uh -huh. them. Um, and what, what do you like? What do you like most? Like, what is? Like would I you say you have a fetish? Uh, cool. Yes, or of course. Yes. Everyone has a fetish. Can we know what it is? Ooh. Well, I have a lot of kinds. <laughs> the most simple one. We want to keep it PG. <laughs> um, well, uh, I like the I like the feeling, the touch of the the. Um, the Feathers, latex, latex, okay. The latex, I like it. I like. Also, I think it's super sexy. Uh, the shoes for okay. me is a fetish. This super sensual. Um, uh, well, I have a lot well, of I'm, I'm really a spanker. <laughs> He's like, let's I'm, just get I'm, to I'm me I'm now. I'm a straightforward <laughs> spanker. You know? so, so I'm very good at this. Yeah, I, I, you whip. Or yeah, use, I, I, or I, I, you I use your hand. I, I use a paddle, you know. Okay. <laughs> you Obviously, you've got to ask first. Of yeah, course. But you know, like uh, I was a professional tennis player. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm very That's accurate. Awesome. You know? And um, and like, like like I said before, with the uh, with the whole fetish angle, I think the beast is very fetish because we have daytime parties. Yeah. Okay. And because of daytime, you're not wearing that much anyway because it's too hot. And right. So, so, it, so, so the people are going directly new. So, 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 <laughs> so, I need to go to the visa. So what am I doing here? <laughs> daytime parties and spanking. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. That's a nice hobby. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you spank mm. someone, does, mm. it, does it feel good that you see if it feels good for them? Or is it a pleasure that you're getting because you're doing it? And why not use your hand? I, think I, I have I so think, many questions. I think, you can, I think you, can use, you can use your hand. I think the most important is... Um, but you prefer a paddle. Is that because paddle, of the tennis thing? Uh, uh, the tennis thing, yeah. Uh, the so you miss the tennis in. thing, maybe? Like, 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 you, you know, I'm, I'm used, to, used to that. But I think it's more about the It's connection. a bigger ball. Personal, <laughs> I think, for me, made me hot when I feel the another person get the control. Okay. And I, like I, let me, I let me go in the way 
Oh, but I like to after take the power. You know, okay. I like to be a it little bit boss of that. I'm, I'm in, to be honest, it's a complete balance. So we, th we think that sexual energy is about uh, gods and goddesses, okay. and, it, and it should be balanced always to to get the the complete picture together. You know? Okay. And, and so so yeah, I think the connect like when it comes to spanking, because you got into my area now. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> like let's like, go like, back like, to spanking. Like, like, it's, it's more about the connection and that. Y In this you know, like the caressing the whole spot, oh, yeah. the whole spot, you know, and, yeah, like get it, and getting like a I feel like he's feeling it while yeah. he's yeah. talking yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah, no, but <laughs> he it, can like you, you can hear when it's wrong. You can hear you can when hear. it's right. Is it like a weird vibration coming out of the yeah, booty? It's, like it's, it's <laughs> like a, everybody around can hear when it's right. Okay. You know, yeah. so, so I think it's mm. something which it really um, is for you and the person and the people around to kind of learn a little bit of how to connect without any inhibition inhibitions okay. and uh, yeah. how to really uh, spank. Get the spank from 80 in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, is, uh, this has become a, a spanking a lesson, spank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I that's what we invite to a lot of things because we're going to have people working with country massage, okay, or beautiful. people playing with candles, or people. Play. We invite to the people to play, basically. Okay. This is the point of our party is that you have fun and you can explode your sexual part because everyone has it, this, you know? And do, you, do you feel like there's still a blockage with people when you talk about sex? Like people still kind of cringe? Well, or so, are yeah, you but seeing uh, more openness? We have something that maybe, it, well, me in my case, I, I talk him with naturality about yeah. it. So I invite to the mm -hmm. people to not feel this uncomfortable, li uncomfortable yeah. mm -hmm. size because actually that is what you say before is like we coming from sex, we coming yeah. from, mm -hmm. from this beautiful connection of two people. So we just invite to the people to, to live in this and now feel, you, you know. The uh, important thing, you guys, of course, I have to add that is don't generate negativity. Always do whatever it is you like, okay, with the utmost respect and uh, love. You yes. know, that's the most important Principal thing. Principal this, because we, we in our party always have amazing atmosphere. Everyone is super respect. And, uh, you know, just uh, happen the things if the people feel comfortable to make things. Uh, just some people like to watch in, some people like to show in. It's like we invite to every kind of characters to live the experience of Utopia. So save the date, the 17th of January in Toulon, in Poor Moon, Maya. I like when I get <laughs> interviewers <laughs> like that. I was like, yes, please keep talking. Yeah, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Anything else, <laughs> anything else you guys want to add about Ibiza or about the next events that you're going to be having? Um, yeah, just, just really like we, we're kind of welcoming everybody from um, all of the nightclub scene, all walks of life to come and sort of uh, explode their energy with us, you know, and, and explore, okay. explore, explore really. Um, it's, it is a traditional party, so we have big DJs, which uh, is something How often do you do it? Um, we do it as often as possible, but, uh, but, <laughs> no, but, 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 but normally um, around once a month. Okay. Yes. In, in Ibiza, countries. we make months, once a month. Actually, we have our date in Ibiza already closed, the 31 of March. Okay. That is my birthday, so we'll be yeah. a more <laughs> stronger party. <laughs> and what DJs do we have uh, coming up next Wednesday? Right, we have, we have, um, we have art department, okay. who have a very um, well-known producer DJs from parties like Circuit Loco, which is well-known around the world, you know, so, um, and the guys, a very, they're like very sexually orientated as well, you know. Okay. If you know them, <laughs> if you know them as people, they're very nice guys, and um, we yeah, because I'm guessing they have to be like comfortable, you know. With, have you ever invited a DJ that said no? That's not for me. Well, yeah, we did. Yes. But we managed, yeah. to, but but actually, like, but actually, after talking to them, and you know, they softened up, and it was like, okay, we're let's in. Let's try this. You know? It's crazy <laughs> because someone, I think everyone like it, but their feel is caring about to show in their career in relation of something sexual or something like that. Yeah. But well, we respect everyone. Yeah. You yeah. know, I mean, we're working in the in the yeah, we, market we, of uh, parties, music, electronic. For a long yeah. time. Yeah, yeah we, we have one DJ uh, who's been a friend of ours for a long time, you know, 20 years, or the same age, is uh, quite a big DJ called Hector, mm -hmm. and he's uh, actually Mexican. He's Mexican. He's Mexican. Mexican, he's one of the biggest Mexican DJs yeah. out there, so he's flying in from... That's uh, a DJ name, just Hector. Hector, Hector, Hector yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I mean, if you, uh, 
fact, most people know him. So he'll be flying in from Guadalajara, and okay. we've kind of grown up together. You know? oh, so, nice. so, so now we've been doing this. He's been like, AD, please, I want to play. You know? so, <laughs> so actually, we, he played the first time in Ibiza, like two months ago, mm -hmm. and, he, and he brought such good energy and good vibes. So we nice. just thought that so it's very good to take him in his uh, natural habitat okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. of Mexico. <laughs> okay, and, yeah, and yeah. So, so he's going to be here. Um, actors playing, obviously, um, art department are playing. We've got some local um, local famous art artists. There's good talent like in Tulum. There's yeah, so much yeah. good talent. And then, but not just that, we have a lot of DJs around those DJs mm -hmm. who will come and play as guests. Okay, you know? nice. So, so I don't want to say any names. Because How many hours are you doing the event for? Because well, you just said like so many DJs. Well, well, yeah, we it's, 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 uh, at the 10 in the okay. principal uh, stage, at 8 in the area of restaurant. Okay. Uh, but the we will be really until good. 8 mm. in the morning. Yeah, so, so nice. What time should we drop in? Well, well, you, 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 you should <laughs> drop in. I don't want to be there all day. <laughs> no, but you know what? You'll probably be there all day because we start, actually start at 10, and when the last people leave, we'll uh -huh. be 2 in the afternoon the next day. Ooh. So okay. ten, ten, at, 10 at night time, so, so we do 10 till I mean, are, are people actually awake? But well, well, the thing yeah. is, we get a lot of turnover. Some people, yes. Yeah, it's the music, people. the DJ. Mm. Yeah. yeah, we get a lot of turnover, and some people might arrive at 2, 3 in the morning. After know? the after the yeah, bars. And, and, yeah. and, then, and then at 8 o'clock, we shut it down, a lot of people go, and we've got all the, if there's celebrities, like the DJs, um, people who've got VIP tables, mm -hmm. and they stay, and then we have a very cool little section between eight and two where okay. the sun is out so it tends to nice. get a little bit nudist so that's perfect for you the, the yeah. eve time it's the eve time yeah, because when the sun is out like leather and, and, and metal doesn't really work no uh -huh. you know so so uh, like metal heats up and leather is just hot so true. it tends true, to true, become true. a bit more nudist like from that time yeah. did they so they opened the adam and eve or was it what's the name of the garden um that you a guys full moon maya full moon maya, maya. But what about, didn't they have like a little place or at least they, they had the idea of opening this? We're talking about the Tulum uh, the, beer, the, you guys. The, the, the With the saunas. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the clothing optional. Um, clothing that area. Optional Wasn't it called like Adam and Eve or something like that? Yeah, no? well, I, I garden, they changed the it? Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden, there yeah, you go. Yeah, but, but I think what they've done really is it's just Tulum beer spa, clothing optional. And they actually need okay. us to give a little bit of publicity yeah, yeah, yeah. to it. So, uh, so actually after two, Nice. After two o'clock, <laughs> we've got this clothing optional beer spa. Nice. So, so we can actually continue on if we want, you know, into like normal life. Is this spa yeah. actually going to be open? Yes. Like people yes. can book the. Sorry. You can yes. bathe in beer, you guys. You can after have yeah. amazing yeah. spa day in your bath of beer yeah, yeah. because it's a very nice. Uh, Made with ocean water. Treatment. Yes. Yeah. So yes, yes, of course. It's I, open. Think, I think I'll be falling asleep in that beer bath. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with a and drinking it mouth, with a little, <laughs> yeah, with that, a little that's straw. How I'm finish, so. There you go. So, yeah. <laughs> and how long are you guys here for? Cool. Uh, how long after will the be? event? Because I'm, I'm sure we're, we're gonna now you're just crazy. Or you're not really enjoying. Normally we much. stay three work, months, work, work. but uh, this nice. year we're going to be until the end of oh, yeah, uh, January because we have some things to do uh, in another places. Potential, uh, potentially, we have an option to do another party, another one, like one month later. Same so place? In the same place. I so feel like Tulum beer, ha it was like, a f a, you know, like a ring to a finger for you guys. Yes. It's, it's just it's, the it's, perfect place to do that. The location is perfect because it, uh, it has 10 luxury rooms, yeah, it's which, which actually the, the, like the owners just left them all available for us. Mm. So each room is like, uh, you know, $8,000 like VIP room, including like your drinks, you get a little bed yes. outside and eight people okay, can go well. in. So, so literally you do have a bed and a place where you can sleep. So that's why it's so <laughs> long, you know, so long. And we have- And also have access to the playroom that this is the more interesting. Wait, did you, did you guys make the playroom or was it already there? We're, we're, we're making we, the playroom. You're using, making it, okay. Yeah. We're using a space that is a wonderful area that is new, anyone know already, so we're going to show you for the first time yeah, this you, you space. Need to see it. I might have to go there before because of course you guys know that we respect privacy so anybody that doesn't want to be on camera we're not going to film but it would be nice to show the place before it gets full because yes, I'm sure course. you're going to have a lot of interesting things. Yes, <laughs> yes, totally. Yes. Well, and also the design of the place is super beautiful. It has a little bit Gaudi. Gaudi um, architectonic yeah. sort of. and it's built like it. She's like so excited about it. No, I can no, see but, it. But, but we're, we're very excited because we're like, oh my god! He built a hostel. Uh huh. Yeah. It's got, it's got little pods, and I in, saw in, it. in it's each so pod, cute. it's got a little bed. 
and there's like 20 of them, but you know, you have to find them. So it's like a little maze made from Gaudi, yep. and that's the dark room for us. <laughs> so for us, it's the best dark room you could ever have. In the, like, I, couldn't, I couldn't imagine anything better. I saw yeah. it when it was being built. It looked amazing. It was, it's like a little ant house. <laughs> so um, yeah, I mean, a hostel, a beer, a VIP events. I feel like this place has it yeah. all. And two, yes. two arenas, you know, like a market area. Like you can just go on the swimming pool uh, in the main stage swimming pool on the roof with the waterfall. That was it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for, for our event, it's perfect, you know, like for, it for sounds like it's perfect. Yeah. All right, guys, it's mm. been awesome. I feel like we're going to have more time to talk mm. about your stuff mm -hmm. and your fetishes, especially in the playroom. So if you guys are interested, of course, you guys know that we're also trying to bring this awareness to that sex is something that needs to be talked about, you know, yeah. and uh, just sure. respecting each other. Everybody has different ideas. The important thing like we always say is generate positive energy. So we will see you guys on Wednesday. Go ahead and tell yes. them about sure. the event one more time. And we'll Super pleasure. And uh, well, we're waiting for you the 17th of January. We have a market open 15, 16 and 70 included. Uh, well, getting a be beautiful outfit and we see in the, in the party. Yeah, the market <laughs> opens at five o'clock. The party opens officially at 10 p.m. Okay. And uh, obviously it's gonna go all the way through the night until sunrise. And if you have a backstage VIP table or anything like that, you can carry on in the daytime with us <laughs> and make it all the way through to the clothing optional spa. There you go. So they haven't even said where it is. Where is it? Right. It's, it's in a place <laughs> called uh, Tulum Beer Spa. There you go. And the name of the location is called Mayan Full Moon. Mm -hmm. and it's next to a place called the Cerveceria. There you go. So it's it's huge. You guys can mix it. It's actually on the highway going to Tulum from Playa del Carmen. So we'll see you there on Wednesday. Have an amazing evening, you guys, and thank you for being here. Thank You're you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. us. Thank you for coming. Amazing. Bye, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.